Welcome to the Battletech Companion app, help funded by our awesome backers of the Battletech Clan Invasion Kickstarter. Let's get started. If we look at the top left hand corner, we can see an array of mechs for us to choose from. We can load a mech and see its additional stats by clicking on it. If you don't like where a mech is positioned, just click and drag it to a new location on the list. There are more mechs to choose from as well. Just use the left and right arrow keys next to the list to discover more mechs for you to choose from. Speaking of choosing, you can choose a pilot name for your mech as well. Just click on the box labeled pilot name to start typing. Just remember that you also need to add your gunnery and piloting skill as well. If you're having a hard time coming up with a name, then use the button right next to it to pick from notable warriors with pre-made stats. There are plenty to pick from, so feel free to choose. Now looking at the mech data on the left side, we can choose whether or not our mech is walking, running, or jumping. You'll notice that the yellow box appears on the heat scale on the bottom of the screen, telling you how much heat you'll need to apply at the end of your turn. You can adjust your heat scale by clicking a number or by sliding your finger across the scale. If selecting a weapon, you can see that its heat value is also applied like your movement to your heat scale. Remember to remove these options after you have applied your heat, otherwise the yellow bar will continue to remain. Something next to our LRM-10 weapon is an ammo symbol. By selecting a weapon with ammo, you will be able to choose which slot in your internal armor it comes out of. Simply choose which ammo slot you want to use, and the window will close. If you don't want to change your armor slot, simply clicking anywhere on the screen will close the window as well. When taking damage, you will click on the affected section in the armor diagram. A damage wheel will pop up allowing you to rotate right to increase the damage or left to decrease the damage. If the damage would exceed your total value on your external armor, you can click on the line art drawing also labeled armor diagram to switch to your internal armor to see the damage automatically bleed over. Just hit the internals diagram line art to go back to your original view. If you messed up the damage you need to apply, you can hit the undo last damage button resetting your last damage applied to the mech. You can also click on slots below your internals diagram to destroy slots in case your opponent gets a lucky critical shot on you. To undo it, just click it again. After a full game of Battletech is over, use the reset mech button at the top right of the screen to wipe the entire mech clean. Careful though, this cleanup is unrecoverable, so make sure the game is done before resetting it. If you need to watch this video again, just use the help button to come back anytime. If you have any ideas on how we can continue improving the app going forward, please use the feedback button to send us new ways we can continue making this app something that will help on the battlefield. Until next time, mech warriors, Selah.